What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel and I am the co-founder of Flourish Lashes. Today's video, if you are struggling with lashes, if you are struggling with getting any further in your lash journey, this is the video for you. Hey guys, okay, so I know that most of the time I do videos, they're not necessarily this casual, but today we're gonna go casual. It is Sunday, it is Sunday night, and I am literally on the floor in front of our Christmas tree because that's just where we're at right now. If you are struggling with lashes, if you are in this lash journey and you feel like it's time to give up, if you feel like it's overwhelming, you are not wrong, but I have some words for you. For anyone that is new here, I just wanna let you guys know. I have been lashing for seven years now. It's been some time, and now we currently have Flourish Lashes. If you guys don't know what Flourish Lashes is, it flourish lashes is check it out at the link in the description we also have a huge black friday sale coming up if you are a lash artist looking for some products trust me you do not want to miss out on our black friday sale it is the biggest sale of the year i will leave that in the description below and then you can always sign up to our email list and get notified when our sale drops right away okay so if you guys watch my videos you know i do some motivational videos here and there i really try to put these out as often as possible because i get it i know what it's like i know how hard it can be and I know the feeling of just not wanting to go on anymore when you're lashing so that's why I try to update these videos and give you guys some real-time experiences because even though I don't lash as much as I used to lash I totally get it and even though I'm on the other side of the business now I still definitely feel those same feelings I am here to relate give you guys some words of wisdom and really walk you through this entire process okay so it is time for Christmas it's coming up I don't know what you guys but I am the type to decorate Super duper early, I am just, I just finished decorating this weekend. This is our tree back here, but I also have another house. So I recently got married, so I'm decorating my husband's house and then I decorate my mom's house. And then I also decorate the office. So I will be showing you guys all the different things that I have going on, but I finished decorating this house this weekend and my mom's house. So I will show you guys that. But this is our tree, it's super cute. Let me know when you guys decorate because honestly I, in Canada here, I mean a lot of people I know do this and a lot of people I know don't do this, but after Halloween, it is officially Christmas. Christmas here and you can go ahead and grab your tree and do all that but I know that in the States it's a bit different you guys have um, Thanksgiving and then you have Black Friday and well Black Friday and Thanksgiving together all the same thing and usually that's when your Christmas starts to kind of come about but let me know when do you guys start decorating I think for me it's like the first week in November something like that I try to do it around then so I get like two full months of Christmas decorations, but yeah, so it's officially up and I'm super happy. <laughs> okay, let's get to some lash talk. It's so funny, I've actually had some comments recently about people telling me I should have a podcast, but honestly, I think I talk enough on YouTube. If you guys are one of those who think I have a podcast, just, just subscribe, guys. Just subscribe and you will hear me talking endlessly. But let's get to some lash topics. I get it. It is the end of the year. This is the busiest time for lash artists. I know how crazy it can get around the holidays. Starting right now, it gets super duper overwhelming. And all of a sudden, everybody needs lashes right away, ASAP, all of a sudden. And there's no other option. It's do or die, and you gotta book right now. This is where I started questioning my life and I started to figure out well, try to figure out whether or not I still wanted to lash on a regular basis or not. And I know that there was a time where I was taking a ton of clients. So if you are out here doing a ton of clients a week, I get it. But my other lash artists out there, the ones that are feeling the slump, the ones that are feeling like this isn't it, this is just not it for me. I promise you, you being on this video right now is already a step in the right direction. Because you know why? That means that you do like lashing. It means that you want to actually get better or you want to continue lashing, but you're just in a rut or you're in a bad place with lashing. And I get it, it happens to every single one of us. If you have ever seen a lash artist, artist out there that said they started lashing and they've been thriving from day one and you know, it's been all rainbow, rainbows and gumdrops, they're 100% lying to you because that is not it. I know that it is so tricky. And that's the thing with lashing is it's not something that you just pick up like that. It's like anything else that we, learn in life like riding a bike we all started with training wheels same thing you have to be able to take the time to learn and practice and practice and practice and then things will get easier it's not that lashing itself gets easier it's just you get better your skill grows like it's crazy how much you can improve in such a short span of time as long as you actually put your 
best foot forward, you actually invest the time, you actually look for things to actually help you. <laughs> So that comes down to blogs, it comes down to actually finding videos, looking for people that are in the industry. That actually being said, I said actually like 10 times in the last 30 seconds, but actually, that being said, let's talk about LashCon for a second. LashCon just happened, if you don't know, LashCon is the biggest Lash conference. Um, it's in a, this event that's held, it's by the Lash cast, Paul and Tiffany, so they created this entire event for lash artists to come from all over the world and you are immersed in lash artists all over the place, like-minded people, people who have been through the same struggles as you and to be honest, that's exactly why I wanted to do this video today because we just came back from LashCon uh, like a week ago, week, week and a half ago and I haven't done a video about, you know, motivational tips, just lash artist lifestyle, all that kind of stuff since we came back from LashCon and I can promise you my entire mindset about lashing and in this industry and people have completely changed I think I came back a different person from LashCon and it was the most amazing experience possible just because we were able to meet so many people I was able to meet people that watch me you guys out there that support me people who have never heard of me before it was unbelievable and because of that it made me feel sparked I got like there's a whole spark of inspiration just from other people telling me that they were inspired by me was just mind-blowing and the reason I bring this up is just because I know when I first started lashing it was a side job I literally was like let me get certified just so that I could make some extra cash on the side no way did I think that my entire life would be full of lashes and my entire future my husband's life like we're just completely just thrown into lashes and no way in our right mind could we think six seven years ago that this is where we would be I mean we always were very into business and things like that but definitely definitely not lashes that's not where we thought we were going at all nor did I think my little side hustle was gonna take me this far but it's actually insane how if you stick with something long enough and you progress and you put yourself forward and you just keep pushing you can be somewhere completely different than what you even imagined I did not think that I would be able to have the reach that I have or meet the people that I was able to to meet or even be able to, to reach people and inspire them the way that I realized that I have after LashCon like I think it's crazy the reason why I want to do this video too is just to kind of give you guys a little bit of insight on how something so small and so minor and minute could become something so much bigger than even just you because even the people that I met at LashCon people were telling me that they were so inspired and just the fact that they were like don't stop don't stop doing your videos it's crazy like I have never been in a position where I physically was able to see people that I've actually reached and that alone to me was something out of this world I mean the comments and all that kind of stuff really mean a lot to me honestly I like read so many comments and they're so 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 motivational but just being able to see someone face to face and someone actually telling me how much I've helped them really put me into a different perspective and made me realize how much I owe to this community and how much I owe to all of you guys out there that watch me. And I think that even doing these types of videos, um, I've seen it, it really does help people. And I can't believe that I was even put in this position or I put myself in this position to actually be able to do that. And again, the reason why I bring it up is just because people start lashing on such a small scale on the sense that, oh, like, I'm just gonna, you know, figure out the skill on the side and I'm gonna see what it takes me or where it takes me and a lot of times like that's great but then a month down the road when it starts to get extremely difficult and they don't see the change happening it gets really hard and they choose to give up and that's exactly what happens to so many people people I've trained people that I know it happens so often and that's exactly why I do these videos because I want to make sure that when you're on that point of you know giving up or that point of where you feel like it's just not for you anymore you have something else pulling you back in because clearly like I said if you're watching this video and you sought out this video you do not want to stop lashing you want a reason to keep going and I'm trying to give you the reason to keep going because I promise after that challenging part once you get over that things change and that's how you put yourself in uncomfortable positions to actually make yourself a better person a better lash artist getting closer to the person you want to be so that's why I do these and that's why I think that you're here to watch this video just because I feel like you have so much potential as a lash artist because everybody that gets into lashing has something so different to offer the lash industry and the lash community and I know people are like oh but there's a lash artist on every corner sure that may be true but at the same 
same time, not every lash artist and every single person is different and not every lash artist can actually do what you do. So you may offer something that another lash artist may not. And that means so much to the clients that you currently have or the clients that you will potentially have because like it or not, or believe it or not, you will end up with much more clients than you do have right now if you push past that hard part. Because there's so many lash artists that I know that just needed to hit that bump and really question themselves, question what they want, figure out what their specific unique style is or their unique lashing experience is. And once you can get through that and once you just get through that tunnel, it's crazy how you start to feel so confident in yourself. And once you personally are able to feel confident in yourself, your work, what you're doing, other people feed off of that and other people notice that and that's when they start to gravitate towards you and I think one of the biggest things as a lash artist that you can learn is that not every single client is the client that you want so you may be thinking hey I'm not getting any clients at all I need to reduce my prices so I can get all these people to come in because then I'll be a cheap lash artist you don't want to be a cheap lash artist you don't want to be the lash artist that's known for her price point being low because that's not a unique standard anybody can do that you need to be known as a lash artist that offers something different that is specific to you as a person as an individual what is it that you do that can give someone else a feeling that makes them want to come to you and everyone is different i can't sit here and tell you exactly what it is that's going to be your unique perspective or your unique business style like it's going to be something to you and it takes you personal growth takes you investing into yourself investing into your business to kind of figure that out and it comes from you putting in the work and a lot of people are like hey i know that this lash artist can make can make this amount of money so i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna make this amount of money and you do realize that that is not the case once you get into it and you realize how much money it goes into becoming a lash artist because i think one of the first things people think of is oh my gosh i want to be able to make this amount of money but I don't wanna spend $3,000 on training. I don't wanna spend X amount on training. And that's where you're already off to a bad start. Because if this is something that is important to you, that is where you need to invest yourself first, is your training. Don't forget it. Guys, I'm about to edit this video and I forgot to show you guys that I even have Christmas decorations in our room. My poor mother has been going everywhere with me to find things for our room, my mom's house, the basement, or the downstairs, everywhere. But I got these really cute, um, gnome. Well, it's just one gnome hat. <laughs> this tree. Everything in our room I got super, super cheap um, because I was like, I'm not buying expensive decorations for our room. Everything was from like Walmart. <laughs> and it's so cute. I'm so happy with the way they came out. Like how adorable. I didn't even take the tag off of that. But like how cute is that, right? Like the, the garland there has got to go though. That I'm returning. That was like 30 bucks and just not worth it. Then I got this cute lantern thing josh loves these lantern things so i knew he would die for that when i saw it and this little snowflake ornament and then even got like a little throw blanket with some reindeer on it even got a little christmas pillow it has like a tree on it super cute got little two trees over there and yeah it's like a cute little christmas bedroom right how cute is that i wish that i got some lights for there but like am i doing too much i don't know i might be we'll see <laughs> Okay, I feel like I have been rambling all over the place and I feel like I have said a lot and I am so sorry if I'm talking fast, but there's so much that I really want you guys to understand about lashing and the mindset because it all comes down to your mindset. This is not an easy road. It's not a road that everybody can travel. It's very, very difficult and it takes a lot of self, I guess, self-confidence. It takes a lot of you being secure with what you can do and understanding the power you have to make things happen for yourself. So I think that it comes down to making sure that you are on the right path for yourself and for nobody else. That is where I'm gonna leave this video off. If you guys like this video, if you found this helpful at all, please let me know. Like I said, it helps me so much if you guys let me know if you like videos. But if you guys did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with something new next time. Bye.